decisions about world affairs are agreed, for example, in government policy. But I think we are all working very hard to rectify this. Anthropology is about humans from past to present and is inherently relevant to the modern world. We have so much to offer many beneficiaries beyond academia, including the public. From round tables to panels and plenary lectures covering a dozens of thematic approaches from all sub-disciplines of anthropology, along with audiovisual programme and exhibitions, the Congress has met its objective of highlighting anthropology in the public sphere. It's particularly shown that scholars in anthropology are a powerful communities as long as anthropologists work with those communities to co-produce research. I should add that it was especially appropriate that the Congress started on the Indigenous Communities Day on the 9th of August. With this in mind, I also think it fitting that the Congress has been held here at the Kalinga Institute for Social Sciences, established by a person with a very ambitious vision for Indigenous communities. Professor Saman, a place where, uh, that, that is Professor Saman, uh, and this is a place where the lives of Indigenous community students can develop and transform through their education. I've been very impressed by their commitment to scholarship, and I should say that a particular Congress highlight for me were the performances by the students in the cultural program. <coughs> they were absolutely stunning and engaging, showing a huge talent for a range of activities in music, dance, song, acrobatics, I just wish I could do that myself, judo, puppetry and much more. This has always been a great end to each day. So finally, a big thank you to everyone involved with the organisation of the Congress and its sponsors, and to Professor Bahira, Vice-Chancellor of KISS, for his warm welcome. I'll leave India with fond memories of my stay here in Bhubaneswar. So thank you very much for listening. Thank you, ma'am. Now I...